Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia Mezadu, your personal stylist and beauty guide. And to all my felines, welcome back ladies. The purpose for my channel is to serve you in helping you make the best wardrobe and beauty choices so that you ultimately look and feel your best. In today's video, we're gonna be covering body types. We're gonna pick up right where we left off. In my previous video, we talked about how to dress for a bigger bust. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to dress if you have broad shoulders. As I said before, I think it's really important for me to start discussing body types and to really get more specific about body types and what you should wear because you wanna present your best. You want to make sure that the clothes you wear fits your figure and it's flattering and you can present the best aesthetic when it comes to your shape. Uh, when you look good, you feel good, you perform better, you do better at work, you just perform better in life. You're going to experience a boost of confidence no matter what size you are when you dress for your proportions. Okay, so broad shoulders. Girl, let's talk. Okay, so some people might wanna know what are broad shoulders? By definition, having an ample or wide distance from side to side, they have sort of a square appearance or it's kind of a more structured look, kind of more boxy, almost has more of like a masculine look to the shoulders. It's not really soft or round. It's just very structured and boxy and you know just very wide it's also stated that shoulders are broad if they are squared off at a 90 degree angle with a noticeable protrusion rather than rounded and a woman whose torso resembles more of a v-shape with when she's wider at the top and narrow at the waist is more likely to have broad shoulders that gives you an idea of what broad shoulders are. So for broad shoulders, we're gonna wanna create more of an illusion of narrow shoulders, not so wide or more soft round shoulders. So that's what we're working towards when we are selecting clothing for this body type. All right, let's, so let's talk about the things that you need to avoid first. For broad shoulders, what we're trying to do is take the emphasis off of how square and how boxy the shoulders are and how wide they are. So what you wanna do is stay away from high neck blouses. You wanna stay from high off the shoulder, high bardo blouses. Um, anything with puff sleeves or ruched sleeves without ruching the gathering on the sleeves, you wanna stay away from that. You wanna stay away from shoulder pads. Shoulder pads, just exit out. Wide V-necks, you wanna stay away from that as well. Halter necklines, stay away from that. Um, structured shoulders, blazers or blouses, you wanna stay away from that. Um, keep the detail at a minimum on your tops. Okay, some things that you do want to try. So you want to gravitate to these. You want to try deep armholes. So armholes that are uh, larger. You want to opt for a cap sleeve. A cap sleeve is going to help to soften the shoulder. A scoop neck. Also, you want to opt for a scoop neck. Uh, also, you want to try kimono or drop sleeves to soften the shoulders. You wanna choose V-necks. Not wide like this, but like a smaller cut V-neck. So something like this would be fine for you. And this has more of like a wider armhole, but you can go wider than this as well. So you wanna try kimono dresses or kimono top. That's gonna to help to soften the shoulders, balance out your shoulders. It's gonna to help to give you that proportion that you're looking for. Also, you wanna choose V-neck, small lapels, so the lapel on the jacket, shawl collars or single breasted styles. Okay, so let's talk colors. If you have broader shoulders and you're trying to take the emphasis off your broad shoulders, again, you wanna 
put the dark colors on the top that's going to de-emphasize you know the top portion of your body and have the brighter colors down on the lower bottom um, same goes for patterns if you're trying to take that emphasis off the top part of your body you want to put like the patterns on the prints on the bottom make sure they're within reason for your shape and then if you do plan on wearing any type of prints make sure that it's very very subtle so it's very similar to if you were you know busty and you wanted to take off the attention from the top part of your body you want to do the same for if you're trying to um, take that mute the attention off of your shoulders or mute the attention off your shoulders and your breast depending on if your soft spot is your breast and your shoulders or if it's just your shoulders so there's kind of some of the similar information that you would use for if you have a big bust you know just because you're really trying to take that emphasis off the top part of your body okay so that concludes this video those are just some basic tips on how to dress yourself better if you have broad shoulders or if you have broad shoulders with a bigger bust um this is just going to help you know be a frame of reference for you when you go to make some decisions on your wardrobe so I hope that that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments down in the comment section. If you have any tips, definitely share it with the family, share it with the community of the felines. Thank you so much for watching. As always, favorite peace and blessings, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.